Hello and welcome to Paintbrush and Ivories, the podcast for artists and curious creatives that connects creativity with the heart and soul. I'm Michelle Walker and I'm here with my creative soul sister, Jennifer Ruth Russell. Hi, I am so excited to be here and to be launching this beautiful podcast with you. It is an exciting day. So let's talk about a bit about ourselves, Jen, and what was the what was the birth of this creative idea that we wanted to do a podcast together. So I'll hand the talking stick to you. Please tell tell us what is it that you do and how is it that I fell in love with you? <laughs> Wow. Well, I am a songwriter. Uh, I'm an author. I'm a spiritual mentor. And I am grateful to play with you this way. I know that we have been friends now for, you know, quite a few years. And it's always delightful to talk. And our, our conversations always seem to spread out into luscious little streams of creativity. And so I think that this is a marvelous thing for us to be doing to be talking more about creativity. I'm grateful for that in my life because I'm always trying to stay in creative balance. I love that idea of creative balance. I'm a visual artist. And I think one of the things that we connected around was this sort of joy of our own creativity and our own creative pursuits. And I have incredible respect for your singer songwriter so I think of you as a songbird and the first time I met you which I think is about four and a half years ago now you came up to me and sang into my ear the most beautiful little melody and I was like wow who is that person <laughs> and it's just that with me the whole time that little that little kind of gift of your creativity of your beautiful voice so I really, yes, I really relate to your passion for your creativity and have so enjoyed that connection that we've had through the last couple of years around our different creative pursuits. So that's, I guess, the backdrop to our, the name of our podcast is Paintbrush and Ivory. So Paintbrush, only because I couldn't say paintbrush and silversmithing hammer and enameling kiln and all of those things. And I needed to get something that was a bit short <laughs> and catchy. Um, and knowing that Ivory's, you being a keyboard artist, but you're so much more than that. But this idea of the different sorts of creativity and how this podcast has been born out of the idea of sharing our different perspectives, mm -hmm. part of our different creative process, I think could be a juicy conversation. So that's the background, I guess, to Paintbrush and Ivory's podcast, Being Born. Mm. Yes. And the first time that I met you, you were drawing, you were doing that beautiful thing that you do of documenting what was being said by visually capturing it for a group of people. It was fascinating and I loved it. And that's why I had to come up and sing in your ear <laughs> the song and the song in my heart is grateful. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, I remember that well. And who would think that you now have, I, since we met, I have become an author and you've done the cover for all of my books. And I, so I treasure, I have all the covers on my walls. So you're everywhere with me all the time. And have inspired me to start being more of a visual artist. So I'm very excited <laughs> to keep I've... going with this conversation. I've got to say, it's been wonderful to watch you embrace a different avenue of your creativity, given you're so skilled around music and songwriting, and then you're so adept. So I love that. And it's something that I aspire and in, and I'm inspired by. And I've also become an author and having you at the launch was fantastic. And I sang in public for pretty much the first time in my life as a 50 something year old. <laughs> all inspired by you. So that was kind of, that was incredibly special for me. So <laughs> I, I love the idea of all the different colors and flavors of creativity. And this is part of what we want to discuss when we're on it, this podcast. And also how does life get in the way of our creative pursuits and our creative goals? And I feel like that's a really rich area for us to explore because I suspect we've come up against a lot of those blocks and had to figure our way through. And it's a great time right now in my life. I feel like I've been able to clear a fair bit of my space in my life for my creative pursuits. And that is such a, 
a feeling of bliss, you know, a feeling of absolute gratitude for the space so that we can, you and I can get on this podcast and have a, a chat about creativity and how, what it means to us. Yes. 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 We're both saying yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. So today we really wanted to spend just a little bit of time introducing ourselves, talking about why we're passionate about this new idea, this new creative journey that we're embarking on with Paintbrush and Ivories as a podcast, and also set up what we're hoping to do. So let's talk a bit about that, Jen. What do you reckon? You know, I, as I'm reflecting, uh, being a song, I've been a songwriter, I've been playing the piano and writing songs my whole life. And I think my whole life has been an exercise of believing in myself, of believing in my own creativity. And if there's anything that I would like to help other creatives do, it would be to believe in themselves and to allow themselves the opportunity and the time and the space to create and to you know, how to be creative in this world that requires us to continue to function. <laughs> you know, we have to keep functioning. <laughs> Absolutely. When many times we'd, li we'd like to just be off, right? We just like to be off doing our thing and forget. Because I, I, I know for you, Michelle, and for me too, I mean, once you're in the eye of the storm of your creativity, you know, all time and space is just gone. And uh, the balance of being a practical human being and having to make a living and having to, we still have to make a living now, you know, in this world, most of us, and how to do that and how to continue to honor your creativity and to believe in it enough to take it to the next level and the next level and the next level. And I, I love what the lessons that I've gained from my creative journey have taught me about life in general. And I think that's probably at part of the center for me about this podcast is both feeding into our creative pursuits and our creative endeavors and for those who listen in for their creative endeavors but also how that feeds back into how we are in life and who we are as people and in partnerships in families in communities all of those different roles and hats that we play i love that adage that says the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And so that for me has been sitting in my conscious mind for probably the last half a dozen years or so. And I discover so much about myself as I come into that creative pursuit. But I also have learned things from my creative practices that I carry into my broader life. So there's that lovely intersection of those things that I think are, is really valuable to explore. And I love what your motivation is about giving yourself and giving others permission, because I think when we give ourselves permission, we can then model and help others really allow themselves to step in as creatives and what that might be. You know, the next level might just be picking up a paintbrush or starting a song or it might be really expanding, really taking it further. So all of those things are really exciting to me. And they're all sitting in this beautiful little container that we've set up called Paintbrush and Ivories. I love it. I love it. And you know, you know, I mean, I'm just all the ideas are already starting to flow of what we what we're going to be talking about. And I, I'm very excited, you know, to talk about also how to, you know, move beyond what you think you are, you know, how to move beyond your own, because there are places that I've gotten very stuck in my creativity, you know, that have become kind of stagnant that I know, I know how to write this song, you know, I could write a 100 of the, this song, but there's always that little angel on my shoulder. And I'm sure it's on yours too. And everybody that that is writing or, or painting or you know, really doing anything, cooking, you know, there's so many avenues of creativity and you continually want to renew and break out of that box and, and continually get re-inspired and move into a broader, or sometimes it's a narrower, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to like, I want to see if I can write a song with one note, right? So, I mean, you know, that, that also just to keep inspired. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And we're probably going to have conversations about the definition of creativity and how we see creativity. And I must admit, I have both a very broad definition of creativity and quite a rubbery one. So in different contexts, you know, but I do feel like we're all creative beings. And I think that's part of the conversation that will unfold for us in looking to how do we embrace all of ourselves? And when we talk about creativity, we're not necessarily talking about just a very narrow expression that the fine arts or the performing arts would consider would get a tick for creativity. And I like that idea of, you know, creativity can be what do you make out of what you've got left over in the fridge for dinner? You know, that that's that's a creative pursuit. And I, and I've also found some real challenges just recently in my art practice. I'm getting ready for an exhibition. I've had a real problem, but it's been an absolutely pragmatic problem with supply of a certain material. And I had to figure my way through that. And that was a creative process of problem solving. So I feel like there's lots. It's a deep and a rich pool that we're about to dive into. And yeah, I, I couldn't be more excited about it. Yes, and I just have to add something else here because I have been working with the Company of Heaven, you know, very closely now for almost 10 years. And the language of the Company of Heaven, of course, it's light, it's color, but it's also the imagination. We have to use our imagination to flow into other realms. And, you know, to me, imagination is a big part of creativity just even in in prayer you know how to go from just seeing oh we just want this you know to like what could possibly be the biggest thing we were we could go to what could be the most the biggest idea here that i can conceive of i can imagine and i think that has a lot to do with creativity as well absolutely i love i love that and great that you brought it in because i really see our conversation being an intersection of you know, our, our soul and our heart and our spiritual life, as well as our, you know, what might be traditionally seen as our creative lives. So where can people find you, Jennifer, if they want to get in touch, if they want to follow you and what you're doing in your creative journey? Wow. Well, one of the best places to find me in my creative journey is on Patreon. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com backslash Jennifer and Michael. Also, my website is just my name, jenniferruthrussell.com. And that's where you're going to be able to find these wonderful podcasts. And you can find my music there and anything else you want to know about me. Awesome. And how about you, Michelle? Yeah, well, I've just got to say, I, I'm a bit of a Spotify user. So I've got you saved in my Spotify libraries as a playlist. And I love being able to grab your music and your morning light meditations so people can find me on instagram if you want to see what i'm doing in the studio my instagram handle is michelle walker art and if you want to come visit my website it's michellewalkerart.com so we look forward to hearing from you if you've got any comments please pop them there at the bottom of where you get your podcast or if you've got something that you would like us to talk about a question that you'd like mm -hmm. us to answer yeah, and, and just kick around yes. in the space. Creativity, heart, love, soul, spirituality. Love that. I'd love to hear what people want to talk about. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so say goodbye for now. Bye for me. Yes, bye. Bye.